Hello, it's Bruce Cohen coming for, to you today from the Alpine region of Austria, where the Austrian Alps are located. I was going to talk to you a little bit about immigration law today and the recent decision of the United States Supreme Court in Texas versus the United States that covered the issue of amnesty or work permits that the Obama administration wanted to give to undocumented workers. There's a great misconception about this case in that people believe that it was the president himself who issued an executive order to give work permits to undocumented people, but that's not really true. And what happened is the Department of Homeland Security issued memorandum that talked about the Deferred Action Program, which already ex has existed for many years in immigration law. And what they said is they were going to issue work permits to certain classes of people while giving them deferred action status, which they're permitted to do under the law anyway. And the state of Texas sued, saying that it would be too expensive for the state to, have to issue them driver's licenses because the state issues driver's licenses to people that have work permits. And because of that expense of about $25 or $50 a person, which the state could charge them anyway, uh, a judge in Texas granted an injunction preventing the implementation of this deferred action program and the issuance of work permits. Um, the case was appealed and eventually went to the Supreme Court. And while the Supreme Court did not specifically uphold the decision of the judge stopping the program, uh, they came to a four to four tie and therefore that decision could not be reversed. So as it stands now, the uh, Homeland Security program to grant deferred action to certain people who are parents of U.S. citizen children has been uh, stopped and um, as a result, work permits cannot be issued to those folks. This is Bruce Cohen, Board Certified Immigration and Nationality Law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization.